Hi guys, this is jsno.com and I'm here with the unboxing of the Huawei Mate 20 Lite. Yes, I know the Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro have just launched, but we're covering this one for now. This phone comes from September 2018, it's priced at around $400, in some places even $350, and it's a 4 camera mid-range phone that looks surprisingly well. The predecessor was a bit of a disappointment, to be honest, the Mate 10 Lite didn't fare very well in our tests, but the Mate 20 Lite actually looks good. It reminds me a bit of the Mate 10 and the Mate 10 Pro, to be honest, it's got two cameras at the back. It's got two cameras at the front and a pretty generous screen with a notch, of course. It's an unboxing after all, so let's see what's inside the box. First, this little thingy here, and then this big box with a lot of things in it. And those things include this uh, metal key used to access the slots, this screen protection, a manual, which is quite thick and hefty, and something extra possibly yes the warranty and then we go to the usb type c cable usb type c to full usb and the huawei quick charge charger it promises 5 volts and 2 amperes or 9 volts and 2 amperes keep that in mind plus something that many chinese makers forgot to do bundled headphones they look pretty typical and straightforward but still nice to have with audio jack and with a small remote in the package Okay, this is an unboxing, we unbox everything, time to fire up the phone, see what it's all about. What it's about for sure, it's glass at the front, glass at the back, and beautiful blue, also available in gold or black, and a metal frame sandwich between them. Now, uh, this handset you see here weighs 172 grams, it measures 7.6 millimeters in thickness, and it runs on Android 8.1 with Emotion UI 8.2 applied on top of it. The screen is a 6.3 inch IPS LCD, of course, Full HD Plus resolution, and the phone uses a Kirin 710 processor with an i7 Co processor. Now, we also have 4GB of RAM, 64GB of storage, and a micro SD card slot. There's Wi Fi A, B, G, N, A, C, there's a USB Type C port at the bottom, and we still have the audio jack intact. Okay, skipping some stuff. Skip more. I agree, you can already see the notch here. Okay, skip. I already noticed that we have both fingerprint scanning and also a sort of face unlock. Okay, we're all set. And now getting back to the specs, this handset provides two sets of dual cameras. I'm going to fire up the brightness a bit and see if the screen can look better, that's more like it. Now, at the front, we have here a combo of cameras. It's 24 megapixels plus two megapixels. That's for the selfies and of course, bokeh with AI. At the back, it's simpler, 20 megapixels and two megapixels working together. F1.8 aperture, there's face detection autofocus, contrast focus and a small LED flash. The battery is quite okay in my book, 3750 milliampere hour. Uh, we also have Qmoji 3D for a special type of emoji and a special type of making your face like a dragon mask. That's only one example. And we also have a special AI feature with 22 optimizations and scenes for your capture. I see that we also have a party mode. I see that we also have games pre-installed. And uh, you can also tweak your experience with wallpapers, widgets, transitions and more. As usual, I'm going to have a quick look at the camera interface. And there's a lot to behold here, I already know that we have a ton of options. For starters, just like on the Huawei Honor 10, we have an AI feature, AI camera, which helps you with some suggestions in some situations. We have photo, we have portrait, we have AR lens, which also applies these cute masks. It's actually following me right now as I'm talking. Cute chameleon, you can also swap it with this blowfish or this husky, which is quite cute. There's the aperture, which has been available for quite a while now, video, and of course, the many modes. They include 3D panorama, HDR, artist mode, pro, panorama, time-lapse, watermark, basically everything we saw on the Huawei Honor 10, and then some. This is the moving picture. Here we have uh, uh, the scan feature. I'm supposing this is the one which suggests you products, which you can buy straight from Amazon, straight from the camera app. And that's nice. So in a nutshell, this has been the first contact and the unboxing of the Huawei Mate 20 Lite. More premium than the predecessor for sure. Pretty promising set of four cameras. Uh, it's got a dual lens system here and uh, it runs on Emotion UI. We're going to put it to the test and we'll be back with a full review very soon here at gsndom.com. Bye bye.